Alrighty guys, so I got a new car recently, actually like over a month ago, and I just actually hit 600,000 subscribers, so let me show you guys right now. I want to thank you guys for 600,000 subscribers. I wanted to hit it before New Year's, but we managed to hit it in 2016, which is even better than hitting in 2017, because that was my goal. So I got a new car with all your support that you've been giving me on my channel, which is a 2015 Nissan GTR. Um, I really didn't expect to get this kind of car this year. My goal was to get a 335xi which we're going for like 15k at the time and my goal was to get it in December but I managed to get this kind of car in November which is just in, like if someone told me in the summer that I would have got a Nissan GTR in November I wouldn't believe them because it's just insane. So what I want to tell you guys is that if you work hard and even with ups and downs in like your career whatever you're trying to do just keep going through it because just never give up. I gave up at one point, but I'm glad that I came back and started doing videos again because now I have this, so never give up on what you're doing. Even if we have like really lows or like when you're really upset about something or something's not working out. It happened to me so many times. There's so many times I wanted to give up. And at one point I actually did give up, but I'm glad I came back because this is what I achieved with not giving up. Just anything can happen guys you just believe in yourself whatever you're trying to do even if it gets really hard because trust me I've been through a lot and like I had to restart multiple times which really sucked I hated it but I'm glad I kept going because now I can achieve these big goals that I have especially 600,000 subscribers that I just hit recently all right so basically now I'm just going to show you the card it is a little bit dirty because we were filming off-road we weren't like mostly on asphalt so I'm gonna show you it right now I did show it earlier it was kind of dark though so I'm gonna do an official reveal this time so let me go ahead and go to the other side and show you guys what it looks like I am going to be tuning it soon I'm gonna put an exhaust and intake and they're gonna tune it for me which is gonna make it a lot quicker it is kind of dirty in here but there's the interior, it's a red or amber interior. Very, very amazing color for this kind of car because it just looks really cool. I really like this interior. Pretty rare for 2015 GTR because most of them are like black. So I re I'm really happy about this purchase because the red interior and stuff like that. And it is kind of new, which is, it only had 15,000 miles on it, but now it has like 17 and a half. I, really, I drive a lot on this car and so here it is basically the red interior. Let me show you the back seats. There's not that much room in the back. Oh, there's triple. Can you? Never mind, whatever. And yeah, that is the interior right there. So let me go ahead and open up the trunk and the hood for you. Show you the trunk space and the hood. So here is the engine. It is a, put this in. So it is a 3.8 liter V6 engine. If you guys know anything about engines, probably would know everything about this car since it's like a really popular car but here it is they're all hand-built engines which I really like so the horsepower varies from engine to engine on these kind of cars so it's around 545 and like around 475 wheel horsepower which is the actual power the car produces when you're driving so when I tune it, it's going to be around 600 wheel horsepower so I'm gonna keep you updated on that with some vlogs and yeah here is the uh, engine let's go ahead and move on to uh, oh if you're wondering what kind of tuning I'm doing I'm gonna get a intake. The guy didn't tell me what kind of intake it was. And I'm also getting an exhaust, which is going to be an Army Trix, a very popular exhaust for GTRs. I'm not sure if I closed it. YOLO. All right, now let's go to the trunk. All right, so here's the trunk space. They're actually, for a sports car, it has a lot of trunk space. And especially since it has the engine in the front, which makes a lot more space in the back. But the space in the back seats is just terrible. There's really not that much space, but what do you expect? It's a sports car and two doors. You really don't need space in the back if you're trying to drive this kind of car. That concludes it, guys. Just one more time. Just thank you guys for everything, for helping me get to this point. So I was just updated by President Obama that this is a supercar, not a sports car. Just kidding. It was this dumb. <laughs> and yeah, so that's basically it for the video I did. I think I, yeah, I did upload a video, but I deleted it because I just didn't want to have a video of me crashing. But I did crash the car. It was not that much damage. No, it wasn't from drifting. No, it wasn't from speeding. It was all an accident. It was not done from like reckless driving. And it just, accidents happen. You can't really control that. So he did do a really good job fixing it. The damage was actually done on this side. So right here, it's all fixed now, except the lip is falling off, but it's fine. And I might get actually a new lip and wrap it as well, just like every other YouTuber wraps his car. So yeah, see you guys in another video.